Welcome back to the channel everyone. In this video, we'll be looking at the Sega Dreamcast. At the end of the video, I'll showcase two of my favorite Dreamcast games, so make sure you stay to the end. So the Dreamcast was released on September 9th, 1999, for a mere 200 US dollars. As you can see, the Dreamcast featured a dial-up modem, allowing all sorts of online functionality. I remember this was the first time I played online, on any home console, and it was so cool to do so. Also, with the use of a boot disk, the Dreamcast was capable of playing homebrew software and programs commonly used on PCs. The Dreamcast controller was slightly bulky but had a nice fit in your hand, especially when lounging around on a Saturday afternoon. I don't recall ever using this controller, but I purchased it brand new, still in the box for $19.99 at an electronics boutique back in the day. It was on clearance as I always recommend picking things up on sale. It's the easiest way to build your collection. It featured an analog stick, D-pad, four game buttons on the front, and two analog triggers on the back, and one start button on the front. This controller came with the system and was thoroughly used as you can see the analog stick was sheared right off. It also featured two expansion slots for accessories on the back. Seems like I left the memory card still inserted in one of the slots. Third party of course, because they're always less expensive. These allowed four separate game storages to be accessed and used. This was the common setup in any Dreamcast player's arsenal. Equipped with a rumble pack and VMU or visual memory unit, you were set to take on any game. This third party rumble pack was plug and play without the use of batteries unlike its N64 counterpart. The VMU was a really cool memory card. It acted as a second screen during some games. You could even take it on the go as it was a handheld capable of playing Dreamcast associated mini games. This total control unit allowed you to use of all things PlayStation 2 accessories on the Dreamcast. The Blaze DC VGA adapter allowed you to output to computer monitors at 480p. At the time, this was the highest resolution you could achieve on any home console. With the modem integration and other homebrew applications, Dreamcast came out with a basic keyboard. I mostly used it for web browsing. There was a free dial-up service provider back in the day called NetZero that I used. Let me know in the comments if anybody remembers it. Dreamcast had a really cool monthly magazine that also included a demo disc. As you can see, I was a subscriber for at least a year. Sonic Adventures was Sega's jump from 2D side-scrolling to a full-fledged 3D platformer. The sequel introduced us to Sonic's clone, Shadow. Sega was the top dog in sports games with its 2K series. Each game featured many new play mechanics that are staples today. You can challenge other players in online tournament mode. These were all around visual and gameplay masterpieces. Bank Gunship Elite is your basic space shooter. Very basic though. Sega Bass Fishing is really cool and had a fishing pole controller just like the arcade version. Air Force Delta is a jet fighter simulator with many jets to choose from. MDK2, Murder Death Kills, a shooter with quirky characters much like Earthroom Jim and Ratchet and Clank. South Park, Chef's Love Shack is a multiplayer trivia game. Shadow Man is about a guy with a voodoo mask in his chest trying to save his little brother Mikey. Resident Evil Code Veronica was a two disc game that should never be played at night. You play it as either Claire Redfield or her brother Chris. If Jojo Bizarre Adventure and Dragon Ball Z had an ugly baby, Psychic Force 2012 would be it. Zombie Revenge is basically Resident Evil as an arcade shooter. Space Channel 5 has to be the second best game on the Dreamcast. Let me know in the comments why I'm wrong. The best game on the Dreamcast, hands down, Shemnu. Way before it's time, you woke up, you worked the job, you took care of a cat, and you learned martial arts. This game definitely deserves another playthrough. 
Hit that subscribe button for more great gaming videos. Click on one of these videos if you want to continue. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Game on.